Hello and welcome. This video is part of a series. I recommend watching the previous videos. There's a link in the description uh, to the full playlist. And so far we've created this basic little doom level. Let's go ahead and play with lighting. So far we haven't changed the lighting I think on any of our sectors here. I mentioned in one video that you can select sector and change the light setting here. You can make it brighter all the way up to 255 and you can make it darker all the way down to zero which you won't be able to see anything. Um, by default when you start off, the the 176 is the default lighting, and that's kind of the brightest I really go, and I would do that outside. Obviously, uh, if you're inside, you might want the levels to be a little bit darker. Uh, so let's let's look into that a little bit. Um, Doom doesn't have you know in in games nowadays you have dynamic lighting where you put a light source and it will fade the light out further you go from it. Uh, Doom doesn't have that, so but you can fake it pretty good. So, for example, I'm in here, and if I was to lower it, you can see that this room's getting darker. Um, now, if you if you make the lighting in a room real dark and you're editing it, it might make it a little hard to edit that room. When you're in your 3D mode, you can hit L to to disable the the lights, so it's still set to that. It will still be a dark room if you start the game, but it turns the lights all the way up, and you hit L again, it will turn it back down to what you want. Uh, but it's going to look kind of weird. Look how bright the very next sector. So it goes straight from being bright to being dark. And that doesn't work. In real life, this light would fade over to that. But again, lighting doesn't work like that in Doom, so we have to fake it. So let's go ahead and set this room back to uh, 176, so it's the same brightness as the other rooms. Let's go back into our map view, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to unselect everything, make sure I'm in sector mode, and I'm going to select all these sectors, so all these steps all the way up. And what I'm going to do is I want it to be darker as I go up these stairs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have these selected. I'm going to lower the light, unselect, I'll probably unselect two, lower the light, unselect two, lower the light, unselect two, lower the light, Unselect two. It's going to get pretty dark. Once you start getting under, uh, yeah, 96 or so, it starts getting pretty dark. So 64. That's probably as dark as I would go. And you can see now that it has faded. Now you can also see if you want to get more of an idea of what that looks like. Uh, I mentioned in previous video. If you go up to View Sector Render, you can say Lighting, and it shows you that we're starting off bright and it's getting darker as you're going. Let's go ahead and save and test. So Control S, Control T and look up our test and look it gets darker as we go and now it is very very dark in here now so you need to think about that uh do you have light sources i didn't you know right here all our ceilings are actually have light textures on them they don't really do anything but you might want to use that as light source or let's use another example i'm going to create another room over here another sector and in that sector, I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to hit T to go to things mode. And I'm going to place an object down. And then I come here to light source. And I am going to put this basic little light. That does not actually emit any light. If I come over here to my 3D view, we can see it there. And uh, different sprites have different ways they illuminate in the game. For example, if I come up in this dark room, and I shoot, the room kind of flickers. But you can see that this uh, light is actually, you can see it where if I had added in something else, let's add in something else just as an example over in this corner. Um, we'll add in the core, maybe this little stump. Let's see how that renders out. This might be a bad example. There, you can see that's dark, it's hard to see. It knows this is a light source, so the sprite itself is lit up but around it is still dark. So if you are starting out, you probably don't do this much, but as you develop your skills as a level editor, you're going to want to um, make your lighting look more dynamic. So what we can do here is create sectors around this light. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go like this. And there's different techniques depending on what you're trying to do here. Uh, in fact, let me add another line here, another line here. And so what I can do now is I can choose these sectors. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up, 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 
up, and as you see, each sector as it gets closer to the light source is a little brighter. Now, you can see that it looks like there's dynamic lighting, even though there really isn't. Let me go into the actual Doom game, because it does render it a little bit different in the game. And you can definitely see, you know, each sector. Now, if you really, you can make really small sectors and adjust the lighting a little bit more level, but there you go, you have some more dynamic lighting. Another way to go about doing that, and again, this is all artistic and up to you. Let's say I was to add in a little sector here, and lower my grid and add, oops, things, add a light source there light source. I'll add this. Another way to do is something like this. And I'm not saying I am the best at doing this. <laughs> Let's go. Now this is kind of awkward because we have two sectors here, but I will just line it up as best I can like so. And I will also This is odd. So what I can do here, a sec, this is this is kind of sloppy. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all this, I think I have everything selected. This is, this is a very bad example. Um, but what I can do here is I can go uh, brighter unselect this and this. Oh, see, that wraps all the way around. That's, this is going to look weird the way I'm doing this. I could definitely do... Let, let's let's forget this one and create a whole new room because it will look better. Oops. Again, too. This is getting into details on lighting that, as a beginner, you may not want to spend your time in, as you might be concerned about other things. But I'm just showing you, you can go real, there are some people who are really good at doing this. Actually, let's put this right here, it'll be easier. Now, I'm gonna go here, 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 probably here, here, here. And we'll put our light source right there. Now, I'm going to select all these sectors. And I will raise the lighting a little bit in here. Unselect that. Maybe raise it to... Oh, I missed one. Go back. Mm -hmm. I unselected that. Two. Unselect those. Those, and I might even make that one a little brighter. So let's go ahead and look at what that looks like in the game. So our first example, I went out like that going across, but here I have the lighting going like this. So it's like the light is shining out of this corner here. So those are two different techniques I've seen used that I use, and I'm definitely not the best at that. Now, another thing we want to talk about is... Um, different sector types, which we're going to go more to in a, more into on another video. Um, but it does apply to lighting, so I guess I'll throw in a little bit here at the end. Um, you can choose a sector, such as this one, and it has different types. So choose, and there's not a whole lot when it comes to sector types, but you have options of lights blinking randomly, lights flashing at 2 hertz, 1 hertz. You can have the lights flashing and giving you 20% damage uh, as it goes on. Um, lights oscillating, so they're slowly fading on and off, on and off. Uh, you can have them flashing at 1 hertz or 2 hertz, but in sync with each other. And you can also have lights flickering. Uh, so let's go ahead and make that room, f that sector flicker, and we'll make this one oscillate. And if we save that, we will go up into here. And you can see the lights flickering. But the brightest they will get is what you have them set to. Uh, the osculating, it might be too dark. So let's go ahead and take both those sectors and move the lighting up a bit, which is going to look weird because the stairs are going to be really dark. But again, when it comes to lighting, that's a lot of... So yeah, so you can see the main room here is flickering. 
If we come up here, this is osculating. You can see it fading on and off instead of flickering. So those are things you can play with. It does look kind of weird to have the stairs primarily dark with the rest. But again, now we're getting into artistic aspects of stuff. I'm just telling you the, the techniques and functionality. You have to be artistic on how you use these tools. So that's lighting in a nutshell. Thank you for watching. Visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. There's a link in the description. And as always, I hope that you have a great day.